Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Demon Slayer, the Entertainment District arc episode number 8. Okay, the previous episode. Um, one of the biggest revelations uh, happened. Uh, Daki is not alone. There's someone else with her. Yutaro, a second demon, comes up. And uh, we actually understand what, why did Tengen say that you're so weak? Like, you know, she, like she literally told, told Daki that you, it's impossible that you are one of the upper uh, six because you're weak. And we understand now why, because it was not her full power. Like it's actually two, like two people actually make one, um, like, you know, one ent not entity, but one team. And Yutaro is part of it. And Yutaro is strong. And uh, like we have to fight two uh, demons now, Daki and Yutaro. Daki, I think most probably like you know, like you know, takes care of the defense because she literally shielded Yutaro and herself from the bomb that um, Tengen uh, you know used, and nothing happened. And I'm guessing Yutaro is the offensive one, where he uses his blood <coughs> as like <coughs> like <coughs> bladed weapons and uses them to fight <coughs> so yeah and before that like you know there, 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 there was this whole thing with nezuko nezuko was kind of going berserk but uh, we were somehow able to calm her down um you know like tanjiro was able to calm her down and she is going to sleep now and the tanjiro would also probably have to take a little rest so i think everything is on um tengen um inosuke and zenitsu for now at least uh, we don't know whether uh, Tanjiro is going to join the battle or not. Let's see. This episode will probably answer our questions. So yeah, let's get started. This is episode number eight of Demon Slayer: The Entertainment District Art. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Think it whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <coughs> 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 Is he coming back? No, he's he's carrying her, okay. <clears throat> yep, oh boy. All right, I think she he should take her with him, shouldn't Tanjiro? Okay. Yeah, there you go. He's going to take her. Or Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, so he's going to join in again, my God, in this condition. Um, where are Tengen's wives? Like, um, <coughs> we saw <coughs> Hinatsuru won't be able to join in the battle, but um, Maki and um, what was the other girl's name? Suma. I think they should be able to join the battle, shouldn't they? Like, they seemed fine. <clears throat> okay, now I understand, like, you know, like in the opening, there's like one scene. <coughs> Where is that scene? Um... yeah th this scene i think yeah 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 this scene there you go i was wondering like i was like when gyutaro was not shown i was like who is that thing that kind of jumps on into the like you know like and now i understand who it is it's gyutaro <clears throat> all right let's watch gathering Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was just joking that maybe this will be Zenith in the future. <laughs> Yeah, his voice acting. Um. Oh damn! This is roasting him. <clears throat> oh boy! It's roasting him. True. Enigmas. Two months. What? What? Oh! Oh, because he's a ninja. I think he, he, he has the kind of training. There you go. There you go. Okay. Yeah, they're ninjas. They'll be hidden, you know? Oh, wait. Damn! Oh. My brother. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, everyone's like... Oh, his scar is a lot less. <clears throat> He's sweating. Probably the poison is still... Oh my god, I think the poison is... Oh no. Yeah, the poison is affecting him. There you go. Well, it's poison for God's sake, like. <coughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right. <coughs> oh my god. Damn. Oh, here we go. <coughs> oh god. All right. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh my god, what the? Yo! Oh 
Okay. Uh, um. <coughs> what? What about like you need to kill both of them at the same time or something? <coughs> Wait, where's Inosuke and Zenitsu? Oh my god, there you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even though the minion is sleeping. What? Okay, Tanjiro's here. There you go. <clears throat> All right. Oh boy. Yeah, everyone's like panicking. Okay, there you go. There they are. Okay, four versus two now. I think that will help a little bit. Damn, thing is tall. Hmm. Oh yeah, he didn't know that. <clears throat> he has a thin waist. <laughs> Gyutaro. <clears throat> hmm. Wow, oh my god. Yeah, probably both. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Look at Zenitsu. He's sleeping, but he's still here. You know. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, don't count your chickens. Oh, oh, that's how. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Is Zensu going to do something? Oh, yes. Ooh. 
<laughs> Yo! <laughs> this guy is insane, my god. When he's asleep, obviously. <laughs> Nebo ke maru. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Wait, he's speaking. What the? Oh. Has he ever spoken before when he's asleep? I don't think so. Damn. Exactly, that's what he she's basically doing. What? Oh my god. Wait, what the? Oh, his eye! He closed one of his eyes and it... <laughs> oh my god! Oh no 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 he... Okay okay there you go nice Wow that was fast Oh my god What the <laughs> That's Gyutarozai. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Warm women. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Oh. Damn, what do you even do in this situation? Like, they're supporting each other, even though they're fighting their own matches. Oh. Wow, my God, oh. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. 
Ok. Whoa, my god. Wow. Yeah. You I think you need to separate them or I I don't know. My god, everything's happening so fast. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, true. No! Wow! My god! Yo, the animation! Wait, what, what's she doing here? What the? Whoa! I, I think I think they're probably poisoned or something. No. Nah. Yeah. Wow. Or maybe they're. Oh no. Okay. Yes! Okay! Oh, Alright! Okay, 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 come on! I feel like, I feel like Duck is going to do something here. Um, what? Okay. Alright, I guess. One week. <laughs> okay, my prediction is Duck is going to do something here. I think so. Uh, she can either, like, you know, like, she'll probably, like, extend her OB or something to protect his neck or something. Like, that's the only way I can see... Gyutaro surviving that attack. I don't know. We'll see. Because we've seen how, you know, uh, strong her OB is. So. Oh boy. Wow, this, <laughs> this episode was packed with animation. <laughs> like fast paced animation. Ah. All right, that's it, I think. Okay, the, the, the last part. Yeah.
Okay. Defeating an upper rank demon. Okay. That title sounds promising. <laughs> All right. This episode um this episode was full of action. That's just it. Nothing much to say. You know, like it was just it was just fighting and um like you know, fast-paced animation and it was insane. Okay. Um so First, we see Tanjiro, like, you know, taking Nezuko to, like, you know, a safe place. Now, here I was actually wondering what Tanjiro is going to do. Is he going to keep Nezuko uh, in the box and, like, you know, take her somewhere else, put her in some safe place and come? But no, obviously not. Like, I was also thinking whether he's going to join the match or not. Like, if he actually carries Nezuko with him. I don't know. I was thinking maybe he wouldn't because, you know, like he's concerned about Nezuko. Maybe he's going to take Nezuko somewhere else, keep her there. And then maybe he's going to join. I thought he was going to do stuff like that. But no, obviously not. He he always keep Nezuko with him. And, uh, you know, like I think that's like the most safest thing because if you actually keep her somewhere, you know, like in even if it's like a safe place, who knows? Like, you know, like what happens? Like, like i don't know like maybe some demon come and like actually grab nezuko or something like that's like a, a constant you know like uh what do you call it like a worry that tanjir will have to keep carrying and fight so yeah he took nezuko with him <coughs> and he joins like the battle okay so here um at the beginning we were like you know like seeing how like you know uh, they were having like a little conversation tengen yutaro and um daki here we get uh, a few information here number one um tengen is laced with poison uh she, he has been kind of affected with poison a little bit uh even though yutaro found it really weird that you know the poison is like uh, even with the poison he's able to like stand up and talk now like obviously the the reason is very si simple he's a ninja he's a shinobi so obviously shinobis like you know as far as i know they go through like a lot of training like one of the trainings is like you know like like i don't know like they administer poison in the person and they have to like you know fight the poison and gain resistance to it that's i think that's like one of the trainings that and ninjas have to go through because you know like you know they uh, if they get captured somehow like you know people might use poison for them like you know to to for them to talk maybe some truth serum or something like you know so you need to get resistant to every type of poison and i think that's what they kind of do they have to go through that and whatever thing you know like if you actually like you know administer something in small doses everyone gets like a resistance to it like just like vaccination you know like when you vaccinate someone you administer small doses of the bad stuff or the poison within someone which the antibody in in your body uh, it kind of fights and gains resistance to it similar thing with poison i guess like you know they i, I guess that's how they do it like you know administer small doses, doses of poison and slowly slowly increase it to uh, make someone more resistant to that particular amount of, of poison and he did say that you know like he had i think how many brothers 30 um no where where, where is that okay um nine nine brothers and sisters seven of them died by the time i turned 15 nine and seven eight nine two okay two of them were left so that means tengen and his brother they were the only one who were left um <clears throat> okay and uh, now here gyutaro kind of like you know tells him like uh oh like you know you 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 must be like you know someone who was gifted with talent this and that and you know like uh you probably have not uh you know like uh faced any trouble while growing up <laughs> and tengen was like nah like you know like you you're a frog in the well you know you you're just like you know cooped up in like one place and you think you know the world uh, that's not the case 
and he like you know he here tells him his story a small little story where he says how his dad uh, actually got concerned as like you know like all the like shinobis were dying and so he wanted you know like uh trained them very hard uh both his brother his younger brother and him and you know like they just because you know like their their, their bloodline will die otherwise now here's one thing i wonder like uh maybe because of this Tengen has three wives you know because their bloodline is dying maybe that's why he has three wives i don't know this is just this is just a guess you know maybe that's why like you know he took three wives um so it would make sense you know um the reason why he has three wives but yeah anyways um uh okay so <clears throat> he's like you know he says that yeah his dad like you know like trained them so much and his brother grew up to be like someone who was like his dad you know like using like you know people like tools uh even uh, like you know uh, using his wives as tools and like you know just like you know like just like a that type of a person a very um, inhuman type of person he grew up to be like that now we did get to see how he looks like his face so maybe we're going to get introduced to him later on i don't know maybe you know just like how we met um rengoku's dad and his brother maybe we, maybe in the future we'll get to uh, get introduced to him so maybe who knows um <clears throat> yeah he, he starts talking and then we get a little flashback of him meeting the master and here we see the master's scar is very less it looks like a little bit and he he had his eyesight as far as i could see like you know his eyes like you know have color in it that probably denotes like you know like that yeah he he had his eyesight at this point now there's one thing that i don't know like i do remember them saying you know talking about like rengoku's dad talking about how chosen people they have this scar from birth you know so is this one of the same like is is, is the master also someone who can use sun breathing like he like we can see like he his car is a little bit different though like not like tanjiro's or the person we saw in the like you know in, in when tanjiro kind of became enraged the person we saw in in the vision uh, th that person had like a scar like tanjiro but uh, the master's scar does not look like tanjiro this kind of looks like some other type of scar and we do like now as we can see his scar is like his upper part is is completely like you know scarred so i don't know this is just like you know like maybe this is just a guess but maybe he's also someone who can use the sun breathing technique that's why the scar or maybe it, it is just a scar that he got from somewhere like you know if, if it's not a birth scar then it's something else you know like uh, just like how tanjiro you know burned himself maybe he also got injured or like you know he got his scar later on so we don't know but this is just something that i'm thinking you know as soon as i saw his scar it kind of struck me i'm, I'm like may wait a minute maybe if maybe this guy can also use sun breathing or something like that so who knows but yeah anyways i'm sure we'll get more answers because like in the master is kind of filled with i say like like you know like it's very uh, like a mysterious type of a being we don't know anything about him nothing much you know and uh, i'm sure we'll get our answers in the future eventually uh, no need to spoil you know like um <laughs> like I'm, i i can wait <laughs> i can wait for the answer um <clears throat> all right anyways um that was that okay and then we again like you know shift back to the fighting uh where gyutaro and uh dakis and tengen fights so in the beginning Tengen was fighting them alone, but then, like you know, Gutaro kind of realizes that he's actually sweating and his uh, fighting um, strength is probably going down. He realizes that the, that the poison is affecting him in small ways, and <laughs> he says that, and Tengen's like, "No, this is nothing." <laughs> oh boy and i like the way he's fighting you know like his 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 uh, his weapon is also kind of interesting it's like a, like a chained weapon where he used the tip of one of the weapons to extend its like you know length like that was impressive the way he fought 
and he was even able to like you know cleave off Daki's head as well at the same time but yeah like you, you have to kill both of them at the same time and that's what you know like I, I think that was very um, like obvious because like that's how it actually goes in all boss battles you know whenever there's like two connected to one or something you need to kill both of them at the same time <laughs> so yeah that's kind of like that so okay now Tan, uh, Ten, uh, um, Inosuke, Inosuke and uh, Zenitsu they come up and Tanjiro also joins in now <clears throat> Zenitsu and uh, Inosuke they both decide to uh, fight um, what's her name Daki and while Tengen and Tanjiro is going to fight uh, Yutaro now here's where this is this becomes quite interesting the reason why they like you know divided their uh, you know uh, what kind of they, they divided into two teams and decided to fight the like you know other like you know like them deciding to fight Daki and Ta Tengen and uh, uh, Tanjiro decided to fight Yutaro is so that they they can like you know divide them you know and they can easily tackle them easily fight them but by the end we see that it, it didn't even work that way the way we intended it to because up on top um, Daki is using her obi to support Yutaro underneath while Yutaro underneath is using her his uh, like her blood sickle or whatever that to you know support uh, Daki up on top like the, the reason why we broke up into two groups was so that they could not support each other and it was useless you know like like they can like Tanjiro and Tengen cannot support each other like uh, uh, Tengen's group and uh, Inosuke's group cannot support each other while those two are actually supporting each other while fighting their own battle at the same time like that's impressive you know I think that I think that was like the most impressive part of this like fight like them actually supporting each other while fighting their own battle that was impressive you know and um i think that that actually and even 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 the third eye you know like that was like that's something that yutaro did like yutaro um closed his eye uh, one of his eyes and that eye kind of like you know came on uh, daki's uh, forehead and i think he did that so that he can keep an eye on daki as daki's fight as well so that he can support her you know like on the way like, you know, while fighting so that's probably why he did that like my god the and, and the battle was fast paced you know like such like so many things were happening at the same time like it was like like obi's coming from up on top like like you know blood sickles flying on top and it's just insane and we do see like you know zenitsu like you know fighting and, oh and another thing um i feel like uh, this is the first time zenitsu actually talked while he was asleep or he did he do that before i don't remember but i feel like this is the first time so like what is up with zenitsu i i wonder like is this like a split personality or like you know like the, the like maybe maybe it's like a multiple personality thing where his other personality switches when he's asleep or it, maybe it's him himself i don't know um but when he's asleep he's very serious because you know like as we can see he says like you know like he talks about how uh, he, uh you know daki was like, you know mistreating that kid and how he says that that's not something that you should do people who have stuff should not abuse the people who do not have stuff while daki is obviously uh not agreeing with that you know daki and gyutaro both start like you not know, talking at the same time and their point of view is that oh since we are stronger we should take from people like you know who are weaker because uh like you know stronger people did the same to us when we were weak so we we have to do the same so that you know like he, they said something about uh like you know taking uh, where where is it um anyways they, they, yeah they were saying something like since we are strong now and we are supposed to take from the weak because that's what the strong people did when we were weak and like Zenitsu's basically said that then Zenitsu basically said that you are just bullying others because you probably were at the same place as them that's why you're just taking your rage on them out on them 
you should not do that but and yeah like this like this has been hinted from the beginning like daki's past you know like daki's past has been hinted from the beginning where we see like how he has she has this fascination with you know like beautiful people and how he she thinks that ugly people or according to her you know her standards you know people who are like you know not good looking should sh sh everything should be taken from them and you know like that's like what she thinks now this 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 probably like is, is like a big hint to her past where maybe in her past she got treated like this you know maybe maybe there were people who mistreated her and maybe her brother as well we don't know the story about her brother but it seems like her brother tried to help like you know like protect her all the time and <clears throat> You know, like that's probably that's how he she lost her life or something by being exploited by people who are beautiful, and that's why you know, like she she thinks now that yeah, like beauty is the standard. Like people who are like you know, um, what can I say? Like good looking, they deserve everything. While the other people, they they did they, they deserve to be trampled upon because that's how her life went. Maybe in when. She, you know when she was alive and uh, yeah it's probably something like that like ever all the demons have like a sad story and you know what what they do while they're demons are actually like the opposite of what they like you know like no not the opposite sorry it's, it's actually the same thing that they went through in their life and that's why you know they try to you know like do the do the opposite and something like that i don't know so yeah like probably something like that so yeah like we don't know like i'm 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 sure they'll let us know and it's probably something sad like that and daki probably went through a lot as well daki and yutaro and that's why they have this twisted sense of morality now like they're like ha huh, like we are beautiful we are supposed to take everything from everyone all that stuff so yeah anyways um okay that was that mm, yeah and then they start like you know like supporting each other fighting their own battle all the things are happening tanjiro is trying to fight as well and um but obviously like you know he he's he's injured he cannot do much things like even the the sword that he's holding has to be like bound to her to his hand so that it doesn't fall off like damn <clears throat> And like you know, like the using their teamwork, they are kind of able to like you know hold on to the whole thing. And um, then from somewhere in comes Hinatsuru, where she like you know uses her kunais as like a like you know like a like a some kind of you know I don't know that was something like she like just. Just through the kunais using that thing that that thing that he she used i don't know what that is called but the kunais kind of went in and obviously the kunai must be laced with something and that's why yutaro tried to deflect them but tengen just you know just just went in without even thinking about what like you know the kunais the kunais kind of hit him and he doesn't care and he he was almost able to get Gyutaro. And we don't know what's going to happen here because he, he took out Gyutaro's legs. And since uh, I'm guessing the uh, weapons are doused in Wisteria, that, that the Wisteria thing, you know, uh, the, those flowers that we saw in season one. Um, uh, that's why she, they, like, you know, Gyutaro cannot get, uh, like, you know, regenerate back the legs and tanjiro is also like you know in on this he took that opportunity to use his sword and it's, it's going to like you know get his neck but obviously i i doubt this will be that easy you know like even if they are able to take lop his head off they need to defeat daki as well otherwise it wouldn't matter i doubt they will be able to take his head off i'm i think maybe Daki is going to somehow come in here use her obi to just stop it because i don't know i feel like that's what's going to happen but if somehow as i said like they are able to take his head off at that moment 
they need to defeat Daki as well. So I don't think it's going to go that smoothly. So yeah, we'll we'll see. But this is a, like a big opportunity, you know. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So I think that was it. Was there anything else that I missed? Let me check. Um, like one thing. Um. The way they were like, you know, like, um, I don't know. Okay, I, I think I understand. Now, the way Tengen was talking, he, it seemed as if he thought that he's the weakest among the Hashiras. And he thinks, I think he, 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 he probably like, you know, regards uh, uh, Rengoku as someone who is a lot stronger than him. He probably thinks like that. And if that is really true, like, it would make sense, you know, because Rengoku fought Akaza. And Akaza is, I think that's what his name, Akaza or Azaka, was, what, what was her name, his name? Anyways, you know, and he is supposed to be one of the upper demons, even, like, you know, higher rank than Gyutaro and Daki. And he fought him and was almost able to kill him. But unfortunately, as we saw, you know, like, he, he ran away. So that it would make sense, like, you know, if, if Rengoku is actually stronger than Tengen. Like all this time, you know, I don't know why, but I, I, I thought that Tengen was stronger than Rengoku. But now that I, I, I see this episode, I'm understanding this whole thing. I can understand. I, it's, it's probably not that case. It's probably Rengoku is probably a lot stronger than Tengen. And uh, that's probably how it is. So yeah, since Akaza was a lot stronger, like Akaza, I think if, if, if Tengen fought Akaza, I think he would have just been defeated. So I don't know, this is just my guess, you know, uh, because we can see like, a, like, a, like, a, like, you know, like a negativity or like a inferiority complex a little bit within uh, Tengen. I don't know, I felt like it, like, you know, the way he kind of talked about himself saying that, oh, you think I'm talented? Huh? You, you don't even know anything. Like that, that, that shows that he thinks that he is the weakest or something. Who knows? Maybe. So. Yeah. Is there anything else? Nah, I think that was it. My God. Like so many things are happening at the same time. Oh. <clears throat> All right. That's it. Now, okay, this is the eighth episode, so I don't know how many episodes this season will have. It's probably like 12 or something. So there are still a few episodes left. So I'm guessing like we're going to have like two or three more episodes uh, with uh, where, where we'll fight. And then probably like the fight will end or something. Who knows? But yeah, like I doubt in the next episode, Yutaro is going to die. I think like, you know, I think somehow he's going to survive that blow. So yeah. Anyways, that was it. That was my reaction to Demon Slayer, the Entertainment District Arc, episode number 8. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. Uh, but no spoilers. So yeah, that's it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Demon Slayer, the Entertainment District Arc. Uh, it ended in... A <laughs> Kind of like a cliffhanger-ish way. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we'll have to wait. So anyways, thanks, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.